everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my new tutorial where we're gonna learn graphql with golang um, so in the past i've done some tutorial with graphql and node.js and like i say in my last series about the rest api in golang i feel golang missed some kind of tutorial so time to do one with graphql so in this tutorial uh, it's gonna be a pretty simple one but i think we're gonna learn a lot okay so in this one, for the GraphQL layer, we're going to make use of this library, GQL Gen. So for all those I've tried, that was the one with uh, really the best one. Even here, they have a fe feature comparison, comparison where they show with three other uh, library what you can do with that. And as you can see, this one is uh, uh, they have a lot of thumbs up. And the thing I did like is it was a schema first. So by schema first is the fact then you, like they say here, you define your API first uh, with the GraphQL language, so SDL. And after that, uh, they're gonna finally generate the code for you and you don't gonna have any kind of this map string interface. It's pretty nice, I really like it. Um, it's really good they have a really good documentation and this is what i want to show you uh, the other stuff we're gonna use the same thing we did use in the last one so for the orm ish we're gonna use uh, uh, go pg like uh, like if you have uh, watched my other tutorial you did see how simple that was to use it and also i think um, from the benchmark i've done and from what i've seen online looks like you don't get any bad performance it like other ORM can get. So it's pretty good. So what are we gonna learn in this tutorial? It's gonna be, I mean, it's a, uh, I want to show you much more about all that, all that work together before jumping on a really big tutorial because I'm planning to make a tutorial about uh, Golang GraphQL and maybe a Flutter frontend with uh, GraphQL client. I think that can become pretty nice. But yeah, so in this one, what we're gonna learn is building the, uh, the GraphQL layer, where we're gonna manage our resolver and stuff like that, talking to a database who's gonna be Postgres in our case. After that, we're gonna learn also about data loader. So data loader, it's a, it's a way for you to don't get this N plus one database query issue. Uh, you're gonna see, uh, it's kind of, I feel it's pretty simple. I feel it's much more simpler in Golang than the one I've done in Node. So, uh, yeah, uh, maybe it's just because now I'm more like, uh, I know what I really happened behind the scene uh, than what I've learned before. So, yeah, so we're going to learn about data loader. We're going to have our resolver. We're going to have uh, authentication, authorization, can a user uh, delete uh, stuff and, th and thing like that. The, the app we're going to build, I mean, it, it, we I can have done another to do stuff. You just I know nobody like it, but but that's gonna be just meetup. My user are gonna create a meetup. That's it. And uh, maybe later we're gonna add the fact that a user can attend to a meetup. And it's gonna be the same thing as a to do list. But uh, some people don't like to see this kind of to do. But we're gonna learn a lot. Uh, I've done the full tutorial. Um, I finished the tutorial yesterday and I write a lot of stuff and I've even learned a lot of things and I hope you're gonna enjoy that. So I'm gonna jump on the part one in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment what you feel about this one and we're gonna start right now. Bye everyone. 